Hello everybody, it's Khalif PvP bring you another Wildstar video. This time we are giving a add-on video for the Esper. Yes, there's been actually quite some demand for this. A lot of people have been asking me, hey, what add-ons do you use, etc, etc. So here are the add-ons that I personally use and there's a reason I use it and hopefully you guys will kind of get an understanding of what add-ons kind of benefit the Esper class. So the first add-on we want to talk about is Forge UI. Forge UI is a very popular Wildstar UI overhaul. I would say it's the most popular one that essentially makes every single component in Wildstar UI completely customizable from unit frames, resource bar, nameplates, etc, etc. And the reason I did that is I wanted to move up my, you know, essentially everything that's useful to me to a more relevant position. And what do I mean by that is by default for example your skill bar is towards the bottom it kind of spreads out your resource bar is kind of you know different from one thing to another i personally have the tendency to keep looking down here uh during pvp fights uh, that's a really terrible thing to do because your character is up here so what i did was i moved my you know my cast bar my skills my resource bar everything kind of up in the middle area so that when I'm looking at my character, I can still see everything down here. So that means, you know, I'm no longer looking, you know, eyesight down here, it kind of um, avoiding and ignoring everything that's happening up here. By looking at up here, looking at, you know, PvP situations that might be going around in circles around me, I can still see my skill bar. The next thing I did was move up my uh, buff bar up here. And the reason I have it up here, it's really big, is because I want to see when things are proccing. Now, I don't particularly care what they are, but I want to be able to see when something new comes up and say, oh, that's, you know, that's something new. Um, let me see what it is. So that is the reason I have Forge UI. Within Forge UI, what I would consider a mini little, uh, mini add-on within an add-on is the, the nameplates. And the reason I really like these nameplates over other nameplates is this one little feature called Use Class Colors. Essentially, all you can kind of figure out for party players, hostile players, etc. Each class has a different colored nameplates. Spellslingers have blue, uh, warriors are red, engineers are kind of an orange, um, you have your medics yellow, and espers are blue. So it quickly helps me identify, you know, what class they are by just looking at the nameplate. Next underrated add-on that I would say is the zone. The zone is an add-on that pretty much tells you who's in the zone. It's literally that. Uh, addition to that, you can kind of see hostile NPCs as well, hostile players rather as well, if there were any hostile players. Um, but that's actually not what I use it for. What, one of the things of the zone is, let's pull this up. If you go in here, the zone, you can actually heal or tag. Boom. It uses essentially a threshold and anybody that crosses that threshold becomes a healer. And this is one of the big reasons I personally use it. It tells me who's the top healer, who are the healers, you know, who are other players, etc. But if you enable this, um, this option, you can kind of see, you know, who to DPS. It's kind of a kind of a quick little add-on that tells me who's, you know, who's the healer, who who should I focus on first. Next add-on I have is another very popular add-on called Aura Mastery. What Aura Mastery does is essentially when things are triggered. Uh, it puts kind of UI or sound bites into the screen. So for example, if I do a critical, uh, so the trigger is on critical pass, uh, what it does is it will essentially put this icon on my screen and you'll probably, you've seen this definitely in the past in my videos, it will put that icon right on the screen as well as play a sound. It plays that sound whenever I critical. So when I hear that sound and I see that thing, I automatically know that I've already crit. And the reason you know this is useful is and I have a lot of things that are on crit base. I want to kind of get an understanding of when things happen. Then I have another one for mind burst. Uh, this one is I think the trigger is resources are greater than five. So whenever I have 
my five side points this will automatically trigger and display on screen so this one's really good to have you know to make sure you track those small little things that might be occurring in fights and you really don't want to sit there and you know pay direct attention to it the next add-on i want to talk about is perspective perspective is the add-on that draws these lines um, right now i have it set up to draw lines to resource nodes to targets and to uh, I think quests and the reason this is good is especially in the fray of PvP you kind of lose your target you, you know especially if you click on from the previous add-on you click on one of your healers and you know, he, he might be moving around trying to avoid you this add-on tracks them so even if they come around I can look at this purple line and say oh you know the healer has teleported behind me uh, I really like this add-on another really good benefit of this add-on is during PvP especially things like Walatiki um, things like Halls of Bloodsworn where your uh, objectives pop up the add-on will automatically automatically track them so if I'm up top in Walatiki it will draw a yellow line to the mask if I'm in Halls of Bloodsworn it will draw a gold line to the side points that have been captured so if I'm defending middle and I see a side point captured it will automatically draw it to the side points that's been captured so I can go out there really like this add-on it has some really good functionality and uh, you might want to by default though uh, disable a lot of its tracking because it's really really resource uh, intensive so the next add-on I want to talk about is vortex meter vortex meter is a great add-on again a very popular add-on that essentially enhances combat logs and what it does is gives you a wonderful breakdown of everything combat so if I go ahead and attack this let's do some damage get some crits in um, get some maybe multi hits in etc etc let's go ahead and do that alright so I think we got some enough damage let's go ahead and do that alright so we got enough damage so essentially let's go back you can see the breakdown of how much damage I've done you'll see the top three abilities um, kind of get a, a pretty fine-grained kind of fine-grained uh, breakdown of every single thing that happened in the fight so you can go ahead click on this and see that okay I've the majority of my damage will come from telekinetic strike mind burst haunt blah 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 you can click on telekinetic strike and get a breakdown of everything you can see okay total I've done 33,000 damage uh, you know my crit rate was only at 5.8 my multi hit rate was 17.5 I can get a breakdown of like you know how much percentage uh, how much multi hit total that I've done so it really gives me a f really fine grained breakdown of a fight so and this is just not for me either this breaks down uh, other people that have attacked me as well if I'm doing some sort of any sort of PvP and I'm going up against another Esper for example you know, and he defeats me I can break down his skills and say okay you know he used this you know his crit rate was high etc it gives me an ability to analyze fights much better after it happens so the next add-on I want to talk about is called Death Recap. Death Recap is another analysis tool that I use. Essentially, after a fight, um, anytime you die, etc., it shows up the top three damage dealers and what da you know what skills have damaged you the most. For example, in this one, a stalker kill quote unquote killed me, so I can see that you know majority of his damage was coming from neutralize. He has some damage from ruin, some damage from punish. Uh, the reason I personally like this is it gives me a chance to kind of see what I did wrong. So if I see a lot of AOEs on this list, I can say, okay, you know, I need to start uh, not being an idiot and jump off these uh, red lines. If I see, you know, some sort of um, some sort of healing debuff, I can I can kind of figure out. It's like, oh, he's running a healing debuff. It allows me, especially in arenas, to figure out what's doing the most amount of damage, how I could combat that. Um, you know, what can I do different? And finally, the last add-on that I want to talk about is Esper PP. Esper PP is a add-on for Esper classes, kind of class specific, that essentially helps out a lot of kind of fine maintaining. So the first thing is it has a side point thing. It's very similar to the uh, to the Aurora Mastery one, but there's a slight difference. One is that it actually has a telegraph assist. So what this does is when there's when the side points are above a certain threshold it will actually draw the telegraph for 
uh, mind burst on screen. So let's actually take a look at it right now. So let's go ahead and attack this and you'll see this red triangle that gets drawn on screen and that kind of almost matches up the side point uh, rather the, the, the telegraph for uh, mind burst if you overlay it right now you can kind of see that blue it matches up pretty well with that red it's slightly actually bigger so you can see from here it actually hits it even though the triangle was nowhere near um, the thing but it gives you a general um, kind of gives you a general idea of where to aim your you know aim your mind burst for example if you see an opponent out there right your mind burst is probably not gonna hit if you see an opponent like out here your mind burst is probably not gonna hit so for that particular reason I, I really like this one because it gives me you know a quick glance as to okay my you know my mind burst can hit you pretty much wraps up the add-on video there's probably other add-ons out there that I'm missing that are really beneficial for classes if you know of any please do write in the comment section I definitely definitely try to look at it and try to see how it fits into my playstyle hopefully after watching this video you got an understanding of what add-ons that are to me at least are beneficial uh, if you like the video please like and subscribe and until next time this is Khalif PvP